Sharon Carmine, who has a word for us. And while she's coming, again, thank you, Bob, for um, bringing your family along and taking the weekend and this day to, to share with us about this ministry in Africa. Thank you, Mark. As you know or don't know, I'm Sharon Carmine. I'm a member of your mission council, and we are backing this 100%. We have heard today about the ancient parable of the talents, the servant who got five came forward bringing five more, and the master saying, well done, good and more, faithful servant. You've been trustworthy in a few things, and so I'll put you in charge of many. For all who have, more will be given. We know, too, that parables need not be old stories about events of long ago and faraway places. Parables can happen in our time, and today we're going to begin to be an example of that. When you entered the sanctuary today, each family was supposed to receive a sealed envelope. You were asked to keep it sealed until the right time. Now is the time. You are invited to open your envelopes. Each one should contain $10. That's five more dollars than the one servant received in talents. Of course, this money isn't ours. It's God's, and a way to take part in Central's contribution to the Africa University Scholarship Endowment Fund. You are invited to take this $10 and grow it. Return a larger amount to this church in November. That gives you about six weeks. In this way, you could be a living example of the parable of talents. Other churches that have tried this had members who maybe invested in soup ingredients, packaged it up and sold to their neighbors and friends, made cookies, note cards, baked pies, sold knitted items. One woman doubled her seed money by buying material to make jelly and selling it. Others canned pickles and jams. Some made jewelry or birdhouses, bought junk at a yard sale, refurbished it, and sold it on Craigslist. Some babysat. Some advertised to do yard work or the fall house cleaning. Some had snack sales, snack sales in their offices and workplaces. And in some interests, several people would get together and host a bake sale or a spaghetti dinner. Sunday, November 11th, will be Talent Report Day. There will be special time in the service when you will be asked to offer back the results of what you've done with the dollars. In the meantime, we will hear periodic stories of what some of us at Central are doing to use our talents for God's work at Africa University. The only limit is your imagination. What ways can you find to grow these talents entrusted to you? See me or other members of Missions Council if you have any questions or want to share an idea. We look forward to responding to the need and answering in a truly biblical way. Let us pray. Oh God, you've blessed us with many gifts and talents. May the inspiration of your Holy Spirit fill us, guide us, and direct us in these next weeks as we use what you have so lovingly given us to give back to a world in need, following always the example of Christ, your greatest gift of love and grace. Amen. I thank you. If you choose not to participate, you can just turn the envelope back in, and I hope you don't bury it. God be with you.